Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Veronica, known as Data Geek. And today in this video, I want to go over some ifs functions in Excel. So what is sums ifs and why is it used? Sum ifs is a powerful Excel function that allows you to add numbers based on multiple conditions or criteria. Unlike the simple sum function, which adds all numbers in a range, some ifs lets you apply filters to sum only the values that meet specific conditions. So why is this used? So filter data, you can calculate totals based on specific criteria like summing sales for a particular region or by a specific salesperson. You can save time. Instead of manually filtering data and summing values, some ifs does the work for you in a single formula. And it also improves accuracy, ensures precise calculations by adding multiple conditions at once. So for example, if you want to calculate the total sales for region A in 2023, and say that variable for region has region A, B, C, and in the variable year has 2023, 2022, 2024, while well, the sum ifs makes it easy by combining these filters in one formula, applying only region A in 2023. So looking at the formula itself, this is what it looks like. So equal sum ifs, so you get the sum range. So the sum range is the calculation total of the variable you need. So for instance, we're going to calculate sales, which would be the sum range. So criteria range one would be region A variable. So you would highlight that range column. And then criteria one is, what do you want to pull from this range? So it would be region A. And there's multiple ones you can add for criteria. So criteria range two, criteria, then criteria range three, criteria, and so on. Well, now jump into Excel and do a step-by-step -step on how this formula works. Okay, so here I am in my Excel data set. And in this data set, it's sales data. So before you start doing the sum ifs, you wanna make sure that your data is nice and clean and ready for grabbing these numbers. So the first thing we wanna start off is product type. So as you can see, I have customer ID, I have my region, which is separated by Southwest, Northwest, West. I have product type, which is smartphone, laptop, tablet. We have our unit price for each of those products, purchase date and year. So I'm gonna start off with total sales for smartphones. So we're going to do a equal sign first, sum ifs, and you can hit your tab to autofill. Now here on the bottom, it gives you a little sample of what you should have next. So right now it's saying sum range. So your sum range, what is going to be calculated or totaled, right? Your sum. So the range for that, we want total sales. So it would be unit price. So I'm going to click here and drag down for my sum range. This is my range. And I'm gonna click on comma because every single statement here is separated by a comma. Now it's saying criteria range one. So it needs another range. So in this case, we want to grab smartphones. So it's in this column here, C, product type. So I'm gonna click on control on my keyboard, keep it down then click cell C2 and drag down. And now it's highlighting D2 is my sum range. C2 and down is my product range, which is my criteria one range. And then now I want to grab out of this range, smartphone. So I'm gonna do a comma and I'm going to grab out of this range, double quotation, smartphone, double quotation. 
And I'm going to close that with the close parentheses because I'm done with my statement. And now I'm going to hit enter. But before I hit enter, I just want to elaborate with you again. So some ifs, I want to sum the total number of cell phones sold, the unit price, which is D2 to D18. That's my sum range. And then I want to grab the criteria one range, which is smartphones, which is this range. And I want to grab smartphones out of this range and enter. Now it says it's $3,000 and I want to double check that. So I'm going to go up to my product type and from my formulas, which if you're not sure how to use your formulas, you just basically tab, click on your data tab here and click formulas here on top. Now do your drop down. You unselect all and only select smartphone. Click OK. Now here it says unit price. So if I click here and highlight all of this for smartphone, now here on the bottom of your Excel sheet, it says average count is nine. So there's nine of them, nine cell phones were sold and your sum is $3,000. So if I clear my filters, it says 3,000. So that is correct. So for this ex example for laptops, I want to use the same formula but in this case, instead of typing out the laptop, I'm going to select this cell. So this is another way to do it. Do an equal sign, sum, ifs, tab. Now my sum range. So I want you to sum up this range here, comma. And I want it to grab laptops from this range here, which is my criteria range one, control, keep it down, drag, click and drag down. So now it's grabbing my range, comma, and I want it to grab laptop. Now close that with the close parentheses and enter. So now it's saying laptops was 1,650. So another example here I want to show you is if I go ahead and drag down, it's going to say a tablet's 1,500. But when I do that, if I click in here to look at the formula itself, you will see that it's dragging from D3 right here. So when I dragged it down, it also pulled down my range for C and D. But in this case, I don't want it to do that. So I'm going to go back up to the laptop just to show you an example. And I would have to anchor this. So to anchor it, basically make it stick. So for D2 and D18, for this range here, I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to click on F4. So now you'll see a dollar sign in front of D. So it's saying it's going to anchor D column row two through row 18, D18. So it's anchoring all of this range. So I'm gonna do the same thing for C2 and C18. I'm gonna click on my F4, making sure the dollar signs are in front of each of C and two and C and 18 and enter. So now I anchored it. So if I drag it down, now you will double click and you will see that it's anchored in those cells, they won't move. So the further down you go, like say if you have more columns to calculate and you just keep on dragging them, it will continue to stay in those ranges because you just anchored them, basically made them stick. Okay, so now let's go in a little more criterias for some ifs. So say, for example, you want to do the total sales for Southwest region for 2023. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move this over so we can get a better picture. Of, okay, so now in our total sales, we're going to do an equal signs first for starting our formula and go S U M sum ifs tab. Okay, and you could also write your code up here on the top where this bar is at. Now, as you can see, it says sum range. 
So again, we need our total sales. We need the sum of the total sales. So I'm going to go ahead and click in, in D2 and drag down. So this is going to be our sum range, comma. Now, next thing I want to do is criteria range one. So our criteria one is going to be southwest region. So southwest region is going to be in column B, which is called region. So I'm going to click and hold down my control button on my keypad and click and drag down. So that's my criteria range one. So that's my range, comma. So from this range, I want to pull out southwest. I'm going to do a double quotation, southwest. Make sure that's spelled right. Okay, and then comma, next, criteria range two. So next, we're going to look for 2023. So it wants the range. So 2023 is in variable year. So I'm going to click and hold down my control button. And then now click and drag down. And that's my range for criteria two, comma. And now I want it to be pooling 2023, comma. Double quotation. Close that with a close parentheses and enter. Now it's saying that there's 600 sales for Southwest region in 2023. Okay, so then now we will go ahead and do total sales, but let's change this to Southwest. Let's do West region. And let's do 2024. So now we need total sales for West region in 2024 for smartphones. So again, we're going to start with an equal signs. And we will do a sum, sum ifs tab. Yeah, now we need our sum range, which is our total sales. So click and drag down, which is our unit price, comma. Actually, let me go up here so we can see better. So now we need criteria range one which is our West region, which is in column B. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to click on my control button, keep it down, and then click and drag down for that range. So now we have our criteria one range. And within that range, we want to pull out West region, right? So it's going to be W-E-S-T double quotations, comma. Now, criteria two. Now we want to go ahead and do 2024, which is in this column here, variable year. So control button. Keep down your control key. Click and drag to get that range for 2024, comma. Within that range, we want to pull out double quotation, 20, 24, double quotation, comma. And the next statement we want to do a criteria range three. So our criteria range three is going to be smartphones. So that's going to be under product type. So again, control key down, click and drag down comma, that's our range. So what do we want to pull out of that range? We want to pull out smartphones. So double quotation, smart. It's all together. Make sure it's spelled right exactly as it is in your data. So phones, double quotation. So smartphone all together. And you can close it with a close bracket and enter. Now it's saying total sales for West region in 2024 for smartphones is $500. So that is a little example of how to use your sum if statements. I hope you liked my video. If so, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.